An ideal pet door means freedom both for you and your pets. And they're so easy to install. All you need are a few basic tools and a little guidance and your pet will be able to come in and go out whenever you want them to in just a matter of minutes. So let's get started. To begin, you will need to have the following tools. As with any home improvement project, if you do not have the tools or the skills to properly install your pet door, we suggest using a professional handy person or licensed contractor. First start by measuring your pet's shoulder height using a tape measure. The top of the pet door should be set no lower than that. In fact, we recommend adding 2 inches to this measurement as the correct height for the top of the pet door template. Now, using a pencil and measuring tape, mark a point near the center of the door at least 4 inches from the bottom. The door should not be set lower than that. Then, use the tape measure to mark the center point of the door. At the same level as the 4 inch mark, or higher if your door will be too low for the pet's shoulder to fit easily. Mark the bottom edge with a pencil using a level and straight edge. When you're finished with that step, tape the template securely in place on top of the line you marked on the door. We recommend using masking tape as other types of tape will not stick well and are too messy. Tape the corners more securely so they will not shift when drilled out. If you're using non-transparent tape, be sure not to cover up the corner target area. Mark the outside edge of the template all the way around with the pencil. If there's tape in the way, skip over it. We'll be remarking the guidelines later. At this point, we recommend you use safety glasses to protect your eyes from any debris. Use a hammer and nail, or an awl, to punch each of the corner area crosshairs. This will help to keep the drill from slipping. Now place the 3 8 inch drill into the first pre-punched corner. Be certain this is exactly where you want the door to be placed before making any hole in your door. Keeping the drill level and straight, carefully drill all the way through the door to the other side. Once all four holes are finished, Remove the tape and template. Remark the lines using pencil and straight edge before the next step. Take the jigsaw and place into one of the corner holes. Begin sawing along the line towards the opposite corner hole. At no time should you allow your hands to come into contact with a moving cutting tool, so keep clear of the blade while it is moving. Repeat this for each of the four sides. Wipe clean the area around the hole using water or kitchen surface cleaner and a paper towel. The exterior frame is the piece without the red lock. First, place this frame into the hole facing the outside of the house. Hold in place and take the interior frame in the other hand and bring them together. The frames are designed to telescope a little for different thicknesses of door. Once both are flush against the door and fitted, take the corner screws and hand fit each of them before going to the next step. After all of the screws have been fitted by hand and are straight and level, you can begin using a power screwdriver to screw the frames together. Don't over tighten the screws. As long as they are flush against the frame, there is no need to tighten as far as they will go. If you find that the flap does not move correctly after tightening the screws, you can reverse the driver and ease them back a little bit. The flap will work better if the door is not too tight, as this can warp the frame. Make sure the lock is in the open position and test the flap for function and fit. The door is now ready for use.